The Bayraktar Ki B-2 is a medium-altitude long endurance unmanned combat aerial vehicle capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations. It is manufactured by the Turkish company Baker Makinis and AEV Takir TS, primarily for the Turkish Armed Forces. The aircraft are monitored and controlled by an aircrew at a ground control station, including weapons employment. The development of the UAV has been largely credited to Selçuk Bayraktar, a former MIT graduate student. By November 2021, the TB2 drone had completed 400,000 flight hours globally. The largest operator of TB2 drones is the Turkish military, but an export model has been sold to the militaries of a number of other countries. Turkey has used the drone extensively in strikes on Kurdistan Workers' Party and People's Protection Unit's targets in Iraq and Syria. Bayraktar drones were later deployed by a number of other nations around the world in various wars, such as by Azerbaijan in the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh War, by the armed forces of Ukraine during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, as well as by the Ethiopian National Defense Force during the Tiger War. The Turkish military's use of the TB2 gained prominence in counterinsurgency operations against the Kurdistan Workers' Party and People's Protection Unit's militants' positions across the border in Iraq and Syria. On June 30, 2018, one Turkish Air Force Bayraktar TB2 crashed due to technical problems in Hitay province, Turkey. On August 15, 2018, Turkish land forces successfully used Bayraktar TB2 in a joint cross-border operation of the Turkish Armed Forces and the National Intelligence Organization of Turkey to kill the senior leader and board member of the Kurdistan Communities Union Ismail Ozdan in Sinjar district, northwestern Iraq. Turkish military used combined UAV and artillery tactics in Syria against the PKK-linked YPG. According to Turkey the number of militant killed or wounded rose to 449 by use of armed TB2 and 680 were indirectly in operations assisted by air support from the UAV. On May 16, 2021, one Bayraktar TB2 crashed in Zabari, northern Iraq, Kurdish militants claimed they shot down the drone. Some parts of Africa face attacks by highly mobile bands of Islamist militants, moving through scrubby terrain by motorbike to attack isolated military and civilian targets. This had largely been in the Sahel, but by 2019 had been spreading. Drones provide countries with aerial surveillance capacity to seek and potentially attack insurgents. Buying from Turkey reduces the dependence of Niger and Togo on former colonial power France. In October 2020, Baker CTO Selçuk Bayraktar showed the new, improved version of TB2, named TB2S. In Selçuk Bayraktar's Twitter post, the TB2S has a protrusion on its body and an antenna on its nose for satellite communication. In the basic model of TB2, communication between the aircraft and the control station was via ground-based antenna. Communication via the Turksat satellite provides a much bigger control range than the 150 to 300 km range of the basic model. The satellite communication will also make the TB2S more resistant to the jamming of communication by the enemy. The SATCOM integrated TB2S made its maiden flight on December 4, 2020.